So E-number colours aren't just cosmetic. They're a vital tool for food manufacturers because they affect not only the appearance, but the way that we taste their products. But what are the chemicals they're using to achieve these bright colours? This is E120, cochineal. And it's used in foods to give them a pink colour. It's in things like cakes, in yoghurts, it's even in some sausages. But the source of this E number is really quite extraordinary. It's time to go on a little trip. The source of cochineal can only be found in hot climates. Mexico, Chile, Peru or, on my budget, Lanzarote. I've come to meet a woman who's promised to show me the source of E120. When you find out where it's come from, you might actually feel a bit disgusted, but for me, I'm fascinated by it. Hola! Hola! Hola, how are you? Hola. Hola, Maria. Um, now, I hear that you are the cochineal expert of, of Lanzarote, the, the queen of cochineal, is that right? Ah, oh, sí, 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 mucho. Can you explain to me how cochineal is made? Oh, sí, sí, vamos, sígueme. Gracias. Chana Pereira takes me to see her cacti, but they don't look very pink to me. So, what are these? Bueno, esto es la tunera opuntia, que produce la cochinilla, que los agricultores la plantan, si quieres te lo demuestro ahora. These, are, these, these cacti are specifically for, for cochineal production? Sí, 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 sí. Yes. It turns out it's not the plants that I'm meant to be looking at, it's the things living on them. Bugs. Esto es la cochinilla hembra. These are the female cochinilla, right here. So this mouldy old leaf is carrying a kind of a, a white fluff with some very sleepy bugs underneath it. And these bugs are the source of purple food colouring. Well, it looks extraordinary, doesn't it? It's, it just looks like a mouldy leaf. Cochineal bugs are tiny, just five millimetres long. But it's what's inside them that matters. Como no, esta es la sangre de la, de la cochinilla. Oh. Ah. So the, it's the blood. Cochineal bugs are one of the very few insects that produce red carminic acid in their bodies. It's there to stop other insects from eating them, but this acid is also the source of E120, as found in the pink icing of many a fairy cake. Chana wants to show me how to harvest the insects. Here, it's done the traditional way, complete with authentic Lanzarote sun hats. The ladies. <laughs> it's a bonnet, isn't it? To get cochineal bugs onto the cactus, pregnant females are put into a sack, which is then placed onto the plants. So basically, these bags are kind of cochineal maternity wards. For, they're full of pregnant female cochineal bugs. They lay their eggs, and, and what, the, the babies crawl out and reinfect the cactus? Sí, infecta todo el cactus, se adhieren al cactus, y entonces ahí van creciendo durante tres meses. Cuando ya están maduras, el agricultor las recoge. It's kind of really sweet on one level and really disgusting on another. <laughs> After three months, when the cacti are covered with insects, the mature bugs are harvested by hand. Con esta cuchara recoge las cochinillas, así. Bueno, se recoge para secarla. Do you know what? It's very hot out here, but I'm actually feeling quite cool under my uh, fetching hat. Once the bugs are collected, they're laid out on large wooden trays to dry. Chanam has a little traditional song to help us through our labours. Saquitos de chorizo que mi abuelo me decía Hay que llenarlos bien y matar bien la cochinilla Para que el carmín salga muy frondoso But it's not the song that kills them. The heat of the sun does that job. We then shake the dead bugs to remove any dirt. <laughs> but this is as far as the farming part of the process goes. To get the food additive E120, we need to do a little chemistry. The next stage is to get the dead bugs to a local lab. Juan, can you explain to me how we get from a pile of dried bugs to a pigment? Y la molemos de esta manera. Moler bien la cochinilla. 
Yeah. Could, should I do that for you? Okay. It's really hard, isn't it? Sí. Va saliendo el color púrpura. How's that? Pretty good? Okay. Sí. Okay. We boil up roughly 250 crushed bugs and then filter the solution. Look at that red. So look, that's, that's like uh, coffee grounds. <laughs> what we have now is a richly coloured cochineal solution. Carminic acid is the pure pigment, but to make the colour stable, we now add aluminium and calcium salts. Okay, so you can start to see the powder, the solids, forming on the outside of the jug. There's, there's grains beginning to form a lot stronger and thicker now, and the bigger, bigger lumps than they were before. So that's it. Poco a poco? Poco a poco. We then filter it one last time. Look at that colour. So here we are. This is the carmine. There it is. Wow. Oh, look at that. If you see the word cochineal or carmine or E120 on the ingredients list of any food, this is what it is you're eating. And this is what it's come from. Over 20 billion cochineal bugs are harvested each year to make the colour in loads of products including sausages and yoghurts. Mostly number colours like cochineal are added to food during the cooking